Hi, it's time for a walk time rant. Haven't done a walk time rant in a, a long time. Uh, this one comes from the EV blog forum. You should be on the EV blog forum because that's where everyone hangs out and chats about all sorts of stuff. This one comes from Maurice. So, good day, Maurice. Um, he's an engineering uh, student junior year or something, but whatever that means, I don't know, Yankee stuff. Um, and he's a bit concerned about uh, being able to get an intern and engineering um, internship and well it's not surprising because there's a lot of competition when you're a when you graduate or even before you graduate and you get like you want to go for those work experience jobs or those um, internships or whatever it is that you want to get um, there's a ton of competition out there how do you stand out so he wants to know what will improve uh, the chances of getting that sort of internship. So he wants to know whether like uh, you know, online courses might be the thing or whether or not uh, doing your own stuff is a thing. And well, <laughs> let's go through it. Online courses, eh, okay, but not really. I mean, no one's gonna care. Engineering's a vocational field and you have to show off uh, like stuff you can do. That's all that matters. No one's gonna care that you've done some course on something really. That doesn't help you stand out really at all um, from anyone else, especially when there's you know, dozens or hundreds of applications. I've uh, interviewed countless people uh, over the years uh, for various uh, engineering jobs and like I've literally had to sort through hundreds of resumes yes they're on the wrong side of the road here in australia so anyway um yeah sort through hundreds of resumes just for one job so you've got to stand out and the way you do that is of course by being uh, showing off that you've done your own projects and online courses and things like that adding padding your resume with various things like that might be okay but it's not going to be the killer thing that's going to land you that job the first thing is going to be your enthusiasm of course so if you show that you're really enthusiastic then well that's going to help a lot especially when you get to the job interview things like that but that's hard to come across on your resume but not impossible to come across if you link to things that you've uh, published for example uh, whether it be like a WordPress blog or something uh, YouTube videos and things like that if you show that you're actually producing content and stuff like that then well that shows that you're super enthusiastic about this sort of stuff and that's gonna make you stand out like guaranteed you'll get top of the pile so the first thing you've got to do is find out what interests you because if you're not interested in the stuff that you're working on then there's probably no point because you're not going to be enthusiastic about it you're probably not going to finish it so you know it, it's just not going to work out so find what subjects and areas interest you and don't say oh i don't know shrug your shoulders i don't know what interests me bullshit <laughs> you like what videos do you uh, naturally watch on youtube or other things what in what engineering type stuff do you typically watch that's what you're going to be naturally interested in so work on projects like that and of course these days it's trivial to do really advanced projects and cheap as well like <laughs> when i was a graduate when i was a kid uh like doing something like a four layer board that was mind-blowing like that was so expensive now it's nothing you can be doing eight layer boards you can be doing really advanced projects using some of the most advanced chips and and, and technologies and things like that mind-blowing stuff for bugger all cost i mean and it's just incredible what you can do these days really advanced projects so should you work on your own project from scratch well that's preferable but you know it's, it's going to take a lot of effort like could take six to nine months to develop your own project and really polish it and things like that so i'd probably recommend starting off at least um, by taking an existing open source project for example in some sort of area of, of interest for you and then just not not just building it up that's a bit lame but it's better than nothing but then you'll have something to show at your interview and number one rule of interviews is bring stuff if you don't bring stuff you're not going to get to the top of the pile so even if you just build up a kit or something like that at least you can show that you built something you sold it that you're enthusiastic all that sort of stuff but don't take an existing off-the-shelf uh, open source project 
and modify it in some way, add something, you know, add some new features to it, hardware, software wise. And a lot of open source hardware projects, like they don't come in a nice box. So maybe you can like relay out the board or something to put it in like a nice case and show that you can like do the more uh, polished engineering type stuff to finish off a project, not just build up prototypes, that's okay, but that you can finish it off and actually build it into a really nice case. That'll be a winner. So there's absolutely no excuse for not like having your own projects to show off. But as I said, publish them. Don't forget that magazines are still out there. Get published in the magazines. That'll just blow somebody away that you're, oh gee, look, they're published in, you know, a Diode Magazine or something like that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's as true as it was 30 years ago for me getting published as it would be for you now, it's exactly the same. So yes, get those projects published, uh, whether I highly recommend like YouTube videos so people can see what you're on about, but if you're not very good on camera, you're not very good with voiceover or something, well, just like uh, put a lot of effort into publishing and documenting stuff. Documentation's fantastic. If you show people that you can document stuff, that's a very valuable skill in the industry. A lot of people just like can't do it. They're crap at it. If you can show that you're really good at documentation, Wow, that's gonna be great. So that's how you stand out from everyone else, doing your own stuff, showing it off in some way, not just because it's one hurdle already to get to the interview, so it's great if you build out your projects and stuff like that, and you get to the interview, you can show them off, but if you can't even get to the interview because, well, you haven't uh, communicated well on your resume or something like that, but if you put right up the top of your resume links to like your blog, to your YouTube channel or whatever, I <laughs> guarantee they're gonna check it out. The first thing I look at, if I see a resume, uh, they've worked on their own projects. Wow, okay, I'm gonna go check them out or or if I'm just, you know, doing my first pass through the, uh, in the pile of 100 resumes or whatever, right, that one goes to the, I'll take a second look uh, pile. And most of them are just garbage. Most they just, you know, the, uh, well, the HR droids, that's a different thing. I've done a video on how to avoid HR droids don't go through um, the HR organizations, go around them. Anyway, I've done a video on that, I'll link in uh, where I mentioned that. So yeah, I've done various uh, job interview tips before where I'll link those in as well, but this one is more specifically about uh, Maurice's situation and but, you know, still in, uh, still doing their course and they're a bit worried that they won't be able to get their internship and they don't have anything to show for it, they don't have any way to stand out. It's so easy to stand out these days. Yes, it's going to require effort. It's not easy, you know. Spend the next three months, six months working on just one project. All you need is like one really good one that you've contributed uh, to. It's good to like contribute to open source hardware projects, but I'd, I'd probably, you know, you can just write down, look, I contributed, or you can do photos. Document everything. That's the thing about it, so that you have a link that you can actually point people to to show off your content. And I'll show you this. I don't know what's happening with this building, but uh, geez. Check it out. They're really gutting that thing. Not sure what's going on there. Anyway, I hope that's uh, answered Marisa's uh, question anyway and given others some food for thought about how to stand out from the rest of the pack because you don't just want to graduate with your degree and have nothing else to show for it. whoop de doo Nobody cares if you've got the university medal. Woohoo! Nobody cares if you've uh, done these other online courses. Really, it might help a little bit, but yeah, no, generally nobody cares. What have you done? Engineering is about what have you done? What can you do? What problems can you solve? How can you help them out? That's what it's all about. So anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss down below. Catch you next time.